Matt, well, before we talk about yourselves, can we just uh, have a quick word about Arsene Wenger, a thousand games in charge of Arsenal? Uh, what an achievement that is. Well, it's not easy, a thousand games in the same club. I think it's really easy for for special manager. I think that Arsene Wenger has made a beautiful, so wonderful uh, career at, at Arsenal. So, congratulations. What would you say his biggest achievement is? What? What would you say his biggest, his greatest achievement is? From Arsenal? Well, I think that uh, winning the uh, three Premier League in in, uh, in three years, I don't know what was in a row, but it was uh, in a few years, I think it's very important. But the most important thing, I think, is to to continue working so long in the same, in the same club. I think it's very difficult for, for any manager to, to achieve those, those that thing. Vicente Aguero, what stage is he at in his recovery? I wonder what? How, how, how far along in his recovery is Sergio Aguero? We don't know yet. Maybe next week he will start uh, working with the squad, but I don't, think that the, I don't think that the whole week. But maybe at the end of the week he can be with the squad uh, starting training. Just. He has again been linked with Barcelona. What's your response to that? About what? Aguero has again been linked with Barcelona. What is your response to that link? It's exactly the same what I respond to all the other links during the whole year. We cannot talk every week about the players that are coming that are coming here to Manchester and the City and the players that are going out. So I think that Aguero is a player of Manchester City and he's very happy here and the club is very happy with him also. I was going to say, you yourselves have been linked with players as well in Luis Suarez and Victor Valdez. Same answer. <laughs> um, I have to ask you about the incident with George Boyd and, and Joe Hart and the punishment that's been handed out to George Boyd. What do you make of that punishment? Really, I, I didn't see it, so I can't talk about uh, about that. But uh, if if the FA thinks that he deserved three games ban, it's for something that he that he did. But really, I didn't see it, so I can't talk about. It. Has Joe spoken about it with you? Has he has he said anything? No, no, he didn't say anything to me. And uh, with that in mind, uh, as well, do you have to? Give any message, put any message across to your players as regards keeping their own discipline between now and the end of the season. Yes, it is very important. I think that those things maybe have a lot of importance uh, in a, in a lot of results of, of of a lot of match during the year. So um, I think it's very important in the, in the last part of the season, maybe when the when the, you are playing important things, try to not make mistakes about that. Do you feel the momentum is back with you in the title race? I think that we continue in the fight, the fight of the on the on the race for the title with all the other teams. Uh, we have to play the three games that we have in hand. We will see how we play those games. But for the moment, I think that the the fourth uh, team has the same options. Would you say that perhaps you are favourites, though? Would you, huh? would you say that perhaps you are favourites, given that you have those games in hand? But you have to win uh, the game, so the important thing is we, uh, for the moment we just depend on what we can do in the future. Do you think it's going to come down to those games between you and the rest of the top four? No, I think that the every match will be very important. And uh, how does the United game affect your selection ahead of this weekend? Nothing, I'm just, we are just thinking about Fulham, we are not thinking about, about Manchester United. In terms of Fulham, obviously a, a new manager, bottom of the table. Uh, in some ways, are these tougher games than those ones at the top? Because you, maybe it's a bit of unpredictability, or no, I think it's a very tough game because all the teams that are in, maybe in, in in the last position, or not only in relegated position, in the last position of the table, in the second round uh, they try to to add points everywhere. So if, if a team as, as Fulham that they are used to defend. And with Felix Maga, that is a manager that, that has, may always play his their team, the, his team with a lot of intensity. I am sure that we need to work very hard during the 95 minutes if we want to, to win. That's why we start a very important week, but the most important uh, game in this week is Fulham. The fans won't see it as a as a difficult game. So how do you persuade them? Well, I think that we have experience uh, against Wigan here, against Crystal Palace, that we won 1-0 uh, against Stoke. That was very difficult also to, to, score, to score a goal. So I don't know who is not thinking that it's not, it's not a tough game. We know that they are in a, in a relegated position at the, at the bottom of the table. 
but uh, but I repeat that doesn't mean it doesn't mean that that will be an easy match. You've you've spoke of, of those games. Have your players learned lessons from those games as well? I think that players are always trying to to take a lesson on every game they they play. Games are different. Um, maybe the motivation also is 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 not the same from one game to another. But we are now in the in the last uh, two months or less than two months, and we know that for the moment uh, we we depend jam, just on what we can do from now till the end of the season to win the title. How much will you miss Vincent tomorrow? Well, it's the captain of the team. It's a very important. Uh, it's, it's a very important player. But we had so many injuries during the whole year from different players and. And always we we manage it to to play well. So uh, I am sure that the the player that replaces tomorrow Vincent will play very well also. And just finally, if I may, uh, just an update on the Stasic and, and Jovetic. Where are they now in there? Jovetic is in the squad list for tomorrow. Nastasi he continues with some pain in his knee, so he has a, a more at least a, a couple more of weeks to, to recover. Um, the time of the he's been out for quite a while now. Is there not uh, any concern over how long it's taking him to get over this problem? About what? Matan Stasic's knee injury it seems to be taking yes, a long of course, time. Of course, we are concerned because uh, the doctor, uh, he doesn't know what happened with him. He made all the exams that, that he needed, but we can know what, uh, what happened with him. So we are continuing taking another opinion. The do doctor is in charge of, in charge of that. What is the, the nature of the problem? Is it a, a bang on the knee or did he pull? Uh, no, we don't know exactly. That's why if the player feel, feels a pain inside the, the knee, but uh, nobody knows what about about what is that pain. Uh, okay, so it's been a little while now since Alvaro Negredo scored. Any concerns over his form at all and can he get back to where he was earlier in the season? I, 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 I am sure that, uh, that every player has better and uh, a low performance during the whole season. I think that Alvaro, in the, for the moment, he's, making, he's doing a very good season and I hope he will finish the same way he started. Manuel, you mentioned Fulham before in the Wigan game, the Palace game, but when you speak to your players ahead of games like Fulham, do you speak to them in a different way to maybe when you are playing the likes of Arsenal or Chelsea or Manchester United? No, no. I suppose you know, exactly in the same way when we when we play against Wigan, of course, I am, I am talking with, to the players, trying to to convince all of them that are always difficult uh, difficult games. Maybe important games with um, the most important team. Maybe the motivation is alone. Uh, it's, you, you don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You don't need to talk too much about that. But in this kind of games, I think it's very important to, to understand from the beginning that you must play every game as a, as a final. You will be missing your captain, of course, after the whole City game. But with that game, with the reaction of, of Vincent, with the reaction of Joe Hart to an incident maybe he wasn't happy with, are you happy with the players showing that kind of fight, if you like? If you control your reaction, of course, I think it's very, very important to have temperament in every game, but you must control because it's a referee and, uh, and it's very important not to have players with, with excess of, of, of anxiety and they can be sent off. So it's very important. If you can control, I, I like things with, with, with that kind of reaction, but always control. And of course, you have so many players, creative players, but how important now will David Silva, after the showing at Hull, how, how big a factor is he going to be for the remainder of the season? I think if you want to win the title, every, every player every player must try to have his best performance in every match and all of them together because you, have, you can have a high performance, individual performance, but as a team we must try to be a regular team and with very high individual performance. David did it the other game and uh, I am sure that he will continue the same way till the end.